हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल लेट स्टडी एंड टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू दी स्ट्रैटी एंड सोर्सेज टू प्रपेयर फॉर यू जी सी नेट जे आर एफ एग्जामिनेशन आई क्वालिफाइड द यू जी सी नेट जे आर एफ एग्जामिनेशन इन माई वेरी फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट दैट आई गेव इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द रिजल्ट वर अनाउंसड ऑन नाइनटीनथ फेब ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई क्वालिफाइड फॉर जे आर एफ एज वेल एज so let us begin with the pattern the paper uh, pattern goes like there are two papers paper one is teaching and research aptitude which consists of 50 questions one question is of two marks then paper two is law which consists of 100 questions and one question is of two marks and there is no negative marking in this let us begin with paper one so paper one has 10 units and all these 10 units are very well explained and contained in a book of kvs madan this book uh, and you this book also has not only the explanations but also uh, the unit wise question pay questions which has been asked in the previous year and also complete questions uh, given at the end of the book so uh, for unit second research aptitude most of the things would cover up from what you read in your llm research methodology paper not completely but yes you would cover most of the things then uh, it's unit 5 unit 5 mathematical reasoning and aptitude so in this you would even if you practice once one question a day i think you will go through this you would be able to understand very basic things are large not so that you need to be a mathematician to qualify for maths then uh, unit 6 for a uh, logical reasoning so logical reasoning has two parts western logic and indian logic so most of the questions which are been asked according to the trends that have been happened it is from indian logic so i think you need to focus more on indian logic then data interpretation data interpretation consists of five questions and that are of 10 marks so you need to at least do one question daily if you are not that good at calculations and you will get through this and this is the book and i can suggest you a channel which you can refer for marathon classes that channel is grade up channel which is now become by juice uh, ugc net prep you can check those videos on our marathon you know you will just have an understanding about it that what is the subject contains and all this and then you can read the book i think you will understand everything and on this website on their uh, app of byju's there are free mocks available so you can go for those free mocks as well i only did free mocks i did not go for any kind of coaching or uh, paid mocks but you can uh, also go for the free mocks as well as practice the papers from this book and read this book and you can watch marathon videos of you so for uh, now for paper 2 which is law there are again 10 units and uh, for these 10 units specifically i will tell you that what all you need to study so for unit 1 you need to study for jurisprudence so jurisprudence is a subject which also uh, comes in up judiciary examination and also in jharkhand judicial services examination so for jurisprudence either if you have made notes in your llb then that is well and good but if you haven't so for jurisprudence you can read one book which is arihant it will it this book contains all the 10 units and you can read the unit 1 from this book plus you need to analyze the previous year papers for the book then unit second constitution and administrative law so i did my llm in this uh, constitutional and administrative laws so i did not give much emphasis to it because i was i have been reading it since a long time you know we read it in llb we read it for judicial services examination so for this the specific thing that you need to do is you need to read the bare act of constitution plus you need to have a hold on the case laws which you can read from pariksha manthan book which con contains case laws of all the subjects it will not only help you for ugc net it will help you for any other examination as well so that is one thing that you can do in this otherwise if you want to read it in very short then you can 
obviously refer to this uh, Arihant book. Unit third is a public international law and in uh, international humanitarian law. So for this, I only referred the Arihant book. Unit four, law of crimes, which basically consists of IPC. So you need to read the Bear Act of IPC because they do ask you to arrange the sections in chronological order. So you need to read the IPC uh, Bear Act. Plus you need to have a look on some of the case laws of IPC as well. Unit 5 is about law of torts and consumer protection. I read law of torts and consumer protection from Arihant book only. Unit 6 commercial law which basically will contain uh, sales of goods act, contract act, partnership act, limited liability partnership act and companies act. So I read contract, partnership, sales of goods act from the Bear Act and LLP as well as uh, company law I read from Arihant. Unit 7 is family law. What all uh, the laws that are covered under the act such as Hindu marriage act, Hindu Guardian and Adoption Act, all of this I did from Bear Act and the other part which is Muslim law which is uncodified, I did it from Arihant. I had my concepts very clear uh, so it was not such a difficulty and it is an objective examination. I think you would be able to do it if you read concise in a concise manner and you read it again and again. So consistent and consistency and revision is the only key to you know go through any of the examinations unit 8 is environment and human rights law as i was not so much into this particular subject so what i did was i made uh, i analyzed the past year papers i realized that there the case laws which are being asked are you know again and again they are asking the same thing but in a different way so i made a list of the case laws that have been asked and all the things means I only did it from previous year papers by analyzing the previous year papers of environment unit 9 IPR and IT law okay so I uh, basically just saw that syllabus and the topics I just read it you know I just had a overview of it that if some questions ca some question is uh, comes in the exam so I can do it but I did not go into the depth of the subject so this you can do it from Arihant itself. Unit 10 is comparative public law and system of governance. So if you are doing LLM in constitution and administrative laws, so of course you will have this subject and you would it would be easy for you to do this. But um, you know it is nevertheless easy to do it because they ask you about ombudsman, where did it first come, so it came in Sweden, which year. So the, all of these things are asked which is extremely simple you can do it from Arihant itself. So these are the 10 units that you need to prepare and uh, the very first thing that I said for the sources is the Bear Act. Second thing is this book Arihant. This book has unit wise material as well as past year papers, unit wise only uh, sub uh, unit wise and also not just unit wise but also topic wise they have given you the questions so you can have them and uh, you can also prepare notes in a very short manner so that you know it becomes extremely easy when you go for the examination so you can do this for paper 2 you need to solve these the questions which are available here and if you get any free mock test then you can take it and if you on if you want you can also purchase some mock test from any reputed institution so that was it for the preparation of UGC net JRF and I wish you all the very best I think you need to again and again practice the previous year question papers analyze them read the material and I wish you the very best for this thank you thank you so much